Hello everyone, this the continuation of our agriculture and fishery arts reviewer with correct answer and rationalization. Are you ready for this drills? Let's start to question number 11. A device which measures the amount of force that the plant roots exert to remove the moisture from the soil particles at a depth of maximum root activity is called blank. A. Hydrometer. B. Nanometer. C. Barometer. D. Tensiometer. Correct answer is letter D, tensiometer. A tensiometer is a device used to measure the soil moisture tension or suction. It determines the force or tension required to extract water from the soil by plant roots. The tensiometer consists of a hollow tube filled with water and a porous ceramic cup at the bottom, which is buried in the soil at the desired depth where the roots are active. As the soil dries out, water is drawn out of the tensiometer through the porous cup, creating a negative pressure or tension in the water column. This tension measurement indicates the amount of force the plant roots exert to extract moisture from the soil particles. Question number 12. The seasonal pattern of a particular place occurring from year to year is called blank. A. Weather. B. Summer. C. Winter. D. Climate. Correct answer is letter D, climate. Climate refers to the long-term patterns and averages of weather conditions in a particular region or area. It encompasses the average temperature, precipitation, humidity, wind patterns, and other atmospheric conditions that persist over an extended period, typically spanning several decades or more. Climate is characterized by its stability and consistency, representing the typical weather patterns experienced in a specific location over time. Question number 13. Leguminous crops planted then plowed to incorporate with the soil at blooming stage two weeks before planting the main crop. A. Catch crop. B. Companion crop. C. Cover crop. D. Green manure crop. Correct answer is letter D, green manure crop. A green manure crop refers to a practice where leguminous plants, often specifically chosen for their nitrogen-fixing abilities, are grown and then plowed into the soil at the blooming stage. This incorporation of the plant material adds organic matter and nutrients to the soil, particularly nitrogen, which can benefit the subsequent main crop. Question number 14. Direction of tillage on rolling or hilly fields. A. Across the contour. B. Follow the general contour of the land. C. Against the contour. D. Down up direction. Correct answer is letter A. Across the contour. When tilling rolling or hilly fields, it is generally recommended to till across the contour. This means that the direction of tillage should be perpendicular or at a right angle to the slope of the land. Tilling across the contour helps to minimize soil erosion by reducing the flow of water down the slope. It allows the soil to retain moisture and nutrients, preventing them from being washed away. Question number 15. Which of the following is not cross-pollinated? A. Eggplant. B. Corn. C. Squash. D. Papaya. Correct answer is letter C. Squash. Squash is not cross-pollinated. It is primarily self-pollinated. Squash plants have both male and female flowers on the same plant, and they rely on insects or wind to transfer pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers within the same plant. Question number 16. A systematic raising of useful plants and livestock under the management of man. A. Aquaculture. B. Agriculture. C. Aquasalviculture. D. Physiology.
Correct answer is letter B, agriculture. Agriculture is the practice of cultivating the land for growing crops and raising animals for food, fiber, and other products. It involves the systematic raising of useful plants and livestock under the management of man. Aquaculture is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and aquatic plants. Aquasalviculture is the management of both trees and aquatic organisms in an integrated system. Physiology is the study of the functions and processes of living organisms. Question number 17. Which branch of agriculture deals with the breeding, raising, and care of domestic animals such as cows, pigs, and chickens? A. Animal husbandry. B. Agronomy. C. Horticulture. D. Forestry. Correct answer is letter A. Animal husbandry. Animal husbandry is the branch of agriculture that deals with the breeding, raising, and care of domestic animals such as cows, pigs, and chickens. This includes tasks such as feed management, health care, and breeding programs to improve the genetic quality of the animals. Question number 18. Which branch of agriculture focuses on the cultivation of crops for human consumption? A. Agronomy. B. Animal husbandry. C. Horticulture. D. Aquaculture. Correct answer is letter A. Agronomy. Agronomy is the branch of agriculture that deals with the cultivation of crops for human consumption. This includes tasks such as soil management, crop rotation, and the use of fertilizers and pesticides to improve crop yield and quality. Question number 19. Which branch of agriculture deals with the cultivation of fruits, vegetables, and ornamental plants? A. Horticulture. B. Agronomy. C. Animal husbandry. D. Forestry. Correct answer is letter A. Horticulture. Horticulture is the branch of agriculture that deals with the cultivation of fruits, vegetables, and ornamental plants. This includes tasks such as propagation, planting, and caring for these plants, as well as the use of greenhouse technology and hydroponics to improve crop yield and quality. Question number 20. Which branch of agriculture deals with the management of forests and woodlands for the production of wood and other forest products? A. Forestry. B. Agronomy. C. Animal husbandry. D. Horticulture. Correct answer is letter A. Forestry. Forestry is the branch of agriculture that deals with the management of forests and woodlands for the production of wood and other forest products. This includes tasks such as tree planting, pruning, thinning, and harvesting, as well as the management of wildlife and other natural resources found in the forest.